give our gems in certain places. So Cinderella is playing. Morning, Nithia. It's such a crucial time of the year for regional theatres, isn't it? Because pantos are the big money earner for them. Morning to you, Charlotte. Uh, that's right. 98% of regional theatres put on a Christmas production uh, of some sort. It accounts for about 40% of their annual income, but them, like so many others, has been hit by cancellations, along with shows in the West End like Life of Pi, Lion King, all collapsed by uh, COVID. Now joining me is Julie, who's the managing director here for Cinderella, the Panto. Julie, how have you been coping so far in what's meant to be the busiest time of year for you? Well, we were quite lucky in that we got cultural recovery uh, fund for the pre-production of Cinderella. Um, we have been affected by some cancellations, obviously. Um, our worry mainly is for January, February, uh, what happens next. Uh, we just want some clarification, really. Do we start cancelling shows? Do we start cancelling weddings? Um, are our staff going to be furloughed? It's really the next period that, that's worrying us because Panto would normally pay for us till sort of March, but it's been quieter, so that's not going to happen. And the government have announced a £30 million pounds in funding for the arts, but um, is that for you enough or is it a band-aid over a bigger wound? Well, we don't know what we'll get. Obviously, we'll make the application and we'll, do our, we'll give it our best shot, but um, quite a lot of it just pays for things like plumbing and things that you don't think about, not necessarily productions. Um, and so it, it all depends on whether we can actually put shows on in January, February, or if we can just start cancelling and, and, and just furloughing people. Julie, thank you so much. As you heard there, pantomimes are very much the lifeblood of UK theatres. Oh, oh no, it isn't. isn't. <laughs> Spirits still high despite the uncertainty. The show here will still go on. Oh, yes, it is. Nithya, thanks very much for that. We will see you later. Time, isn't it? And we know that a lot of regional theatres really rely on their pantomimes oh. at this time of year. It, it means that, you know, the theatres can keep running for the rest of the year. Joining us now is Matthew Bug, who played An Ugly Sister, and Cece Howells, who played Buttons in Cinderella at the Sutton Coalfield Town Hall. Good morning Good to morning. both of you. It is lovely to see you. Just tell us how, how it's going. You know, we know that, you know, the restrictions, some performances had to be cancelled. There's worries about which ones are going to go ahead. How is it with your panto at the moment? Well, it's been a real privilege to be keep going because there are so few shows that have still been able to get through this period without being having to stop. So for us, it's a real privilege to keep going. And it's a real privilege to be bringing joy into so many people's lives because we really do need it at this time of year, particularly this year. And Cece, how much of a worry has it been, all this sort of uncertainty, the rising cases? Have you seen people making decisions perhaps not to come? Are there fewer audiences than you'd normally hope for? Uh, I personally have had lots of friends and family take the time and decision not to come see me in Panto because of the new variant and strain. Us as a company, we are testing every day. We are not going anywhere we kind of should be. We're really kind of committed to trying to get right through to the end of um, our Panto season here at Sutton. Is that, is that hard for you personally, CC, that, that some of your own friends and family ha have taken the decision not to come and see you on stage? Um, it, is, it is hard, but I completely respect their decision. Um, it's been a massive lifestyle change for me, um, trying to keep my social activities and my Christmas plans down in order to ensure the run here at Sutton. Um, but it's just kind of like the decision you've got to make is um, it's got to be the right one for you. So I hope it's, you respect it's, it. It's something discombobulating about having quite a serious conversation yeah. but you're in panto makeup. In costume. <laughs> in costume. Um, when was the last time you put that on before 7am? Uh, never. <laughs> <laughs> You just kept it on from last night. Yeah, whether you have it the yeah. whole time or not. And Matthew, you know, it is such a difficult time, isn't it? We know the Chancellor has announced some new measures to help support the hospitality. <laughs> They're currently morning, Nithia, and it is such a crucial time of year, isn't it, for regional theatres. They really rely on pantomimes bringing in the money that supports the rest of the year. Well, Charlotte, 98% of regional theatres put on some sort of Christmas production. It accounts for 40% of their annual income. But the Cinderella Panto here, like others in the UK, have been hit by cancellations. Many, like Life of Pi, Lion King, all hit by cancellations. But pantomimes are the lifeblood 
of UK theatres. Um, and oh, oh, no, it isn't. I mean, yes, it is. Oh, no, it isn't. Well, it certainly is, because you are on to play both your parts all the way up till Christmas Eve and then January, February, but you are facing cancellations. How are you feeling? Well, uh, we're, it's been a really tough 21 months. I mean, for many of us, this is the first time we've worked since the first lockdown. And obviously for, for all of us, it's not just about our income, this is our entire identity. We start our training, most of us, at the age of four or five. And we do all of that training alongside our schoolwork. And once, if you can't work, that's not just your income gone, that's your identity gone. And that's really hard. Yeah, I think being a parent in the performing arts uh, industry is really hard because not only are you juggling kind of like your passion, your career, but you're also having to support. So having potentially no work is not just an impact on me personally, but on my whole family. Thank you so much. And very quickly, I just want to wrap up with uh, Julie here. Julie, very quickly, how worried are you about the mountain of uncertainty you're facing? I think if we can just know if we should cancel January and February, we'll prepare ourselves. If we can know if staff can be furloughed, we can prepare them. Brilliant. Thank you, Julie. Of course, here, the artists, the performers, the staff, extremely resilient, as you can see, um, and the show will definitely go on as long as it can. Oh, Nithya, thanks very much for that. Well, the hospital